Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, scouts, scouters, and young people all over the world. It is my pleasure today to invite you to another amazing Jotty session. In this session, we will dive deeper into how you can help out in your communities using the SDGs as a support and how to use real life examples to plan how you can act now. My name is Caleb Hellerman. I'm from Ireland and I'm involved with our youth program team. I'm also an external representative of our scouting. I'm a massive SDG advocate and a strong believer in youth empowerment. I'm really looking forward to going on this journey of youth mobilization through the sustainable development goals with you all today. I will now pass you over to Elise. Hi. I'm Elise. Um, I'm the International Commissioner of Scooty Be Different, and I'm also a volunteer for Youth Program Unit in uh, Wozen. And I'm also you, passionate Elise. about SDGs. We also have um, Nelson joining us, um, who will be moderating the session. So thank you very much to Elise and Nelson for joining me today. So for this session, we have five main objectives. I've made this diagram to show you all that all of them will feed towards contributing to the SDGs. So as you can see, we have discover, learn, educate, equip, and visualize. Objective number one is discover. So we're gonna take you on a journey to discover the sustainable development goals and why they're here and how we can link them to scouting. You are all going to learn how simple actions can create positive impact in our communities. You are then going to be educated how you can offer assistance while not putting yourself in danger during this current pandemic. We will equip you with the supports and resources you need to create positive impact. And finally, you will visualize how you can act now. What are the sustainable development goals? Well, the Sustainable Development Goals, or SDGs, also known as the Global Goals, were adopted by all United Nations member states in 2015 as a universal call to action to end poverty, protect the planet, and ensure that all people enjoy peace and prosperity by 2030. The SDGs are integrated. That is, they recognize that action in one area or goal will affect outcomes in others. And that development must balance social, economic, and environmental sustainability. Through the pledge to leave no one behind, that is also a core value of scouting as well as the SDGs, countries have committed to fast track progress for those furthest behind first. That is why the SDGs are designed to bring the world to several zeros that will be life-changing, including zero poverty, hunger, AIDS, and discrimination against women and girls. Everyone is needed to reach these ambitious targets. The creativity, know-how, technology, and financial resources from all of society is necessary to achieve the SDGs in every context. Now, I invite you to a short activity with, that Elise will leave, or lead. So we will direct you now onto Slido and we want to see what your favorite sustainable development goals are or what they mean to you. Yeah, so uh, now you can go to slido.com, so on your computer or in your uh, mobile phone, and then you can uh, like type the hashtag uh, 11769 and you will get like what is your favorite SDGs as you heard like um, Kelly was telling them and maybe you can type like one of the 17 that you prefer so I don't know if you are on it Yeah, so and poverty, 16, 5. 
Ah, all of them. Education, climate action, education, climate action, climate action, 13, 16. I see the diversity of people here. Five, yeah, it's also five education or in group is an education or education, of course. So many Kalum that people like quite know about SDG, so that's good. So we're in Brilliant group. And, then, yeah, and we can see that we are quite a lot in this. Yeah, cool. So yeah, so thank you a lot. So we can see a yeah, diversity is also and hunger and climate action. So I would give back to Kalum and we will have two, two other questions afterwards. Thank you very much, Elise. So thank you very much for taking part in that activity. It's great to see that there's so many of you online today and passionate about youth mobilization towards the SDGs. So our next topic is the SDGs that we will focus on today. So throughout Jotty and throughout the, the session planning between Lee and myself, we looked at what SDGs we wanted to focus on. So the three main ones we see during this time is SDG three, good health and well-being, because during these times we all have to stay healthy and look out for each other. Goal 11, sustainable cities and communities, because without each other, we wouldn't be able to get through this. And goal 17, which is partnerships for the goals, which means that we will all work together to try and get through this. So thank you to Elise for helping me out with the SDG focus. So next topic, how have scouts helped out around the globe? So I'm sure you've read news stories and you've seen it through social media that many scouts from all over the world have been helping out in this global humanitarian crisis and that we are trying to get through this and that scouts are the main driving force as well as the amazing people we have in the health service um, to try and get through these hard times. So I have a few examples from scouts all over the world that have been helping out. So number one, in Italy, scout groups were mobilized in all affected regions to organize grocery home delivery for the elderly. Others undertook a fast training in their neighborhood hospitals and were immediately ready to be in charge of monitoring people's access to health facilities to help the medical team better manage the incredible influx of visitors and patients. Scouts in Switzerland have also been running grocery runs and there's some very inspirational videos that have gone around from the Swiss scouts. The French scouts have mobilized their adult scouts to respond to the call for help of several national civil entities. Every scout volunteer is asked to sign a participation agreement that lays out the key precaution steps that each has to follow before engaging in any community support action. And the Belgian scouts have been helping with dog walking services. So you can see that there's a wide range of, uh, of different scout organizations that have taken up action in many different ways, and it's great to see. So now we have another slide up, and I'll pass you back over to Elise on what are you doing during this time to help out in your community? So oh, yes, so thank you so much, Callum. So I will share. Uh, a bit more complication than I thought. Uh, yeah. Coming, I think, no, you don't see the good one, bright one. Do you see, do you see my screen? Uh, yes, yeah. you see the, the... Yeah, the slider. The, so you, what are you doing? I mean, um, are you staying home and uh, like doing scout activity? Are you like uh, um, being educating by your school or uh, like are you volunteers? So it's what we want to know now. Elise, um, I think you need to press the present mode. We are just seeing the, yeah. the kind of admin page from behind. Ah, okay, sorry. Sorry, no okay. problem. Okay. It's here. It's better? Yeah, perfect. Cool. So, but it seems that I don't know if you're right now. Yeah. 
education of younger generation, that's good. Providing program on a county level and helping out medicals. Set up a Facebook group for my local area in UK to coordinate volunteers. During lockdown, scouts supply food that I serve. Swing face mask. We are helping children with activity in games, your internet. Uh, it's inspiration, spreading positive message, which is very important. That's for sure. Soon, yeah, the face mic. Virtual scout meeting. I've been guiding my troop with their advancement, especially with the research stuff. Educating young people, sharing correct information, which is really important also on digital citizenship. Uh, sharing reliable source of information, food bank for needed people, sending letters to the hill people. This is important, yeah, to uh, to continue the social link, do homework. My school is planning to receive food supplies to give to the people. On night troop meeting, encourage people to live a healthy life. Creating resource for scouts to do at home. I I hope that you are getting inspiration as we are getting now. Spreading SDP activities from home. This is very good. Um, and Kaelum will uh, speak more about it. Staying at home, which is very important to stay safe. We are locked down and we adjust some activity, buying grocery, educate and SDG. There is, there is a, yes, virtual scouting so scouts don't get bored. This is really important. So I will just pass like that and you can see that there is a lot of inspiration here, which is doing receipt with leftover, leftover food, which is very important also create a website with active link for children. So I will get back for Kelum and thanks so much for the inspiration. So you can like get like new activities for the next few days or weeks. Brilliant, that, that, was, that was very nice to see. It's great to see that you're all taking incredible action in your, in your communities and hopefully from this that you can, you feel better supported to go out and even make more action and help more people. So, the next thing that we're going to go on is how you can help out using easily accessible resources. So recently I've been leading the push in my community to help out through the scouts, through volunteers. Um, and I've made a step-by-step -step guide that may help some of you on how to help out and I don't know what's after happening there. My, my camera's after. Can you still see me? Okay, cool. It just clicked off mine, sorry. So, um, yeah, so I was recently interviewed by a, a, a national newspaper and I decided to come forward with this for Jotty to share my story, to hopefully give other people a bit of inspiration to see how they can also make action. But it seems that you're already on making incredible action. So hopefully this will help someone. So step one, I created a poster to volunteer my services. So as you can see here, I told them my name, my age, uh, that I was a part of the Scouts and local youth clubs. Um, and then I offered how I could help. So I said I would target it at the people who might most need it. So the people living on their own and um, medical workers who may be busy at work and their children may be at home and uh, the, the older people who may not, or who are in a vulnerable position. So um, I, I, I told them to reach out and contact me. I, uh, I put down the services I could do. So I said I could collect groceries, cut your lawn, or even stop in for a chat, but to remember the social distancing rules. So I also put my phone number, um, which I, I have, I've cut off the, the poster here. Um, and, uh, I, I asked people to share this around so that they could, um, they, they, it could reach the maximum amount of people who may need it. So step two, I reached out to other volunteers in my community. So I'm very lucky in my community of Ballybrickin that we have a great scout, we have a great GA club, and we have great uh, politicians around our area. So firstly, I reached out to my scout group and I said that we needed to make an action. So we we looked at the people around our community and how we could help them. I also got in contact with our county councillor, which is our local politician. And she helped me create a map of where the people who may be vulnerable, um, 
are and how we can reach to them because they may not use social media. Step three, I utilize social media. So in this day and age, we have one of the, the easiest and most uh, easily accessible resources in the world, which is social media and the internet. So I, I went onto Facebook and I shared my poster with a, a short message saying I'm willing to help out. Um, this got a lot of shares and a lot of likes and people started commenting under it asking for my help and that they were sharing it around. I was lucky enough that um, in my area we have, a, we have a, a group chat with all the, the local health service people. So the people working in the health source have a, have a group chat. So they sent this post into the group chat and it was able to reach all of those who are working in the health service in my area. And I've, I've tried to help them out in the best way possible because those are the people fighting COVID-19 at the front line. Step four, I contacted the most vulnerable because although social media is one of the greatest outlets for communication and information, uh, many people don't use social media, especially the older generation. So what I did, I, I jumped on my bike and I cycled around my community. And as well as that, I, I rang people who I knew would be living on their own and who uh, may be in danger or may need things during this very strange and uncertain time. So I reached out to them and I tried to help them the best I could. And step five, I acted through the three SDGs that we spoke about. So uh, on the top left, you can see that I am um, I am, I am, I'm helping out in a flower bed of one of my neighbors. So I, I turned the whole flower bed for them and re reseeded and sold the, the seeds there. And down below, that is my, my grandmother. She is amazing. But uh, I went and I, I cut all of her lawn and I, I sweeped her, her, her paths and I made sure that she was all stocked up with everything. So yeah, uh, the important thing to do with this is that not only to share that you were able to volunteer but to also deliver when you can offer because that's very important so the next step is how you can act now so i have shown you how i have acted and how i have kind of given you a step-by-step -step guide of how you can follow but here are some i suppose rules that i would follow when uh when trying to help out so step one is to utilize social media so as I said, social media is one of the easiest avenues to share information and get in contact with people. So make sure that while you're sharing on social media that you're staying safe. So if you don't feel comfortable sharing a photo of yourself or uh, contact details, that's perfectly okay. Just share that you're willing to help out and that people can uh, contact you through your scout group or through if they know your parents or, or your guardians or Make sure that you're not putting yourself in a vulnerable position because although that you may be one of the greatest scouts to help out, people will always have uh, different agendas. So make sure to stay safe online. Let people know that you can help. So as I said earlier, social media is a great avenue for communication, but not all the time people use it. So you can uh, write to your local newspapers and you can ask them to publish a short post about how you can help out, or you can go around and stick up posters. But also remember, we're trying to be sustainable as well. So keep the resources you use at a minimum. And then this is my last tip. So this is a nice quote that I found. It's all about collaboration. And I think in scouting and with the SDGs, collaboration and partnerships are a big thing. So collective action is a collaborative effort that takes place in groups, and diverges from the social norms of the situation. So as you know, we are not in social norms and this is not a normal situation for us to be in. But we as scouts and we as young people have a responsibility and a role in our communities and society to help out and make sure that those that may need help have help and that they have the necessary supports to help out. And that collective action is, uh, is how, we, how we do everything. But within scouting, we, we help out with each other when we're on camps, when we're in our communities. But also, as young people, we, we come together nearly every day for school. We play sports. We do activities, extracurricular activities. So it's very important in this that this is not an individual action. That is an action of 
hundreds, thousands, millions, or even two, make sure that you get in contact with people and ask them for your help. So that is my final tip to reach out to like-minded people because there's many people that are wanting to help out, but they don't know how to. So if you take the initiative to offer your services, many, many, many people will follow in your way. So those are my three main tips, as well as make sure that you stay safe. So make sure you take the necessary precautions, wash your hands, wear a face mask, wear gloves, um, and don't put yourself in danger or in a position that you may fall in because of this. So personal hygiene and personal well-being and healthcare is very important also. Calum, so that brings, sorry? There is a question that's as, oh, yes. as saying that how to make a posture that can attract the, the attention. I think you already said about it, but maybe like just uh, like few tips for the posture, like maybe the person didn't, because the, the, some people want us to, to have like, uh, to speak more loudly. Yes, so um, with, with a poster, um, the tips I would give you for a poster is um, introduce yourself. So um, make sure that people know your name and your age and that you're a part of the Scouts or that you're a part of youth clubs or a young person. Um, clearly lay out how you have how you can help. So name simple activities that you can do to help out. Um, and just make sure that you use nice colors. So as you can see from mine, I will go back now. Um, where is it? Yes, so as you can see from mine, I use the, I use the nice yellow because yellow kind of jumps out at you and it makes you in and makes you draw into the poster. Um, I use the photo because it makes me easily recognizable and people can see that I'm a scout and that I am smiling. Although it is a, a, a weird smile, I do apologize. Um, and then, uh, yeah, just in terms of tips, um, stick up the poster in places that you know people will be. So whether that be a shop door or um, at local youth clubs or sport clubs or, um, yeah, and uh, then, just just make sure that you're you're reaching out to those that are most vulnerable because although there are a lot of people who do need help it's the people that are most vulnerable to that we that we need to support during this time so i i hope that answers the question elise and whoever had asked it thank you for the question yeah and uh, nicola shadi or caddy saying that there is a digital scout marketing station soon so also the person can attend it um there is another question mm -hmm. on uh what steps should be taken by scouts for COVID-19? Yes, okay, so um, I kind of covered this, but I will go through it again. Um, I suppose, make sure that you have personal protection. So make sure you have your gloves, you have your face mask and even goggles. Make sure that you use um, hand sanitizer and that you, you wash very well when you do come back from when you are volunteering. Um, if you are put in a position that you, you feel that you are sick, make sure to go home and isolate um, and contact whoever you need to contact in regards to that in your, your, your different countries and regions. Um, and yeah, just, just, just how, how I like to look at it, I use, uh, I use a strategy called K-I-S-S, -S, so KISS, keep it simple, stupid. So follow the simple instructions and make sure you're doing them perfectly right before you go out and uh, do anything more advanced. So make sure that you have yourself covered and that you are, you are completely safe before you go out and volunteer. Good. So maybe we can keep in after I will ask you another question. Perfect. Is that okay? Perfect. Okay. So the next part is how you can stay active at home. So as we know, uh, many groups, uh, many scout groups, many scouts, world scouting, national scout organizations have come out with amazing resources for people to use. Um, one I have been involved in is uh, Scouting Ireland's hashtag 17 days, 17 SDGs challenge. So every day for 17 days, 
we post a resource and a, a quiz or a fact-finding mission for people to use. Um, they can use the hashtags that we provide or tag us. And uh, every day we, we post up the actions that people have done. So we've had many great actions from all over Ireland um, and also in many different corners of the world. We have had uh, a, a very big uptake from Australia, uh, from Colombia, uh, Trinidad and Tobago, uh, Argentina. So it's great to see that not only is it benefiting scouts and young people in Ireland, that it is benefiting scouts and young people all over the world. So as I've said, scouts from all over the world have developed program activities, resources for scouts around the world to use. And thanks to our friends in World Scouting and Scouting in Europe, they have compiled all of these into one area. So what I did uh, over the last few days was I spent some time compiling all of these activities and resources and brought them into one page on a website. So in Scouting Ireland, we use the betterworld.ie website for everything to do with sustainable uh, program and to do with our Better World program. So if you would like to screenshot this or scan this, this will bring you to our Scouting at Home page where it has all our resources and it has the resources from many scouts all over the world and from many different national scout organizations and many different regions. So if I, I will leave this here for a couple of seconds and uh, you can all either screenshot it or scan it and save the, save the, the URL. So, um, that you have access to these after this session and that you can use these to hopefully create uh, more of an impact in our communities and have some fun while scouting at home and hopefully um, revamp what you guys are doing at home um, with your own scout groups and your local scout groups. Maybe a question that linked you. It's uh, Jack from UK is asking, uh, what can we do to continue working towards SDG after the coronavirus crisis? Very glad you asked that. So that's a question that many of us have asked. Um, I suppose in scouting, we have a, a, an integral, uh, I suppose element of scouting is around sustainable development and how that we can develop ourselves and develop others in our communities. Um, so what I would do um, after COVID-19 to um, see how you can bring the SDGs into how we, how we act as people as well as scouts is to uh, try and change your awareness around the different topics. So take time to learn what the SDGs are, take time to learn um, and see how you can uh, actively participate in achieving them um, and just be nice uh, try and try and change your outlook towards sustainability um, it's the small actions that will make it um, and even if I, I'm not sure how many participants we have today uh, we have 110 participants so even if those 110 participants uh, took one action one sustainable action that would be 110 sustainable actions. And those 110 sustainable actions may have a knock-on effect. So if, all, if you all pledge to me that you will take on one sustainable action after this session, the world will have 110 extra sustainable actions. So I would encourage you all to follow the link here and to see different activities and check out Scouting Ireland's website for the, our initiative to do with the SDGs. And we are only starting up in the SDG front. So I'd, uh, I'd encourage you to keep track of what we're doing. Uh, there's also brilliant work done with the SDGs, with the Portuguese scouts, with the, the Danish scouts, with the, the Hong Kong scouts, and with, of course, with Elise with the French scouts. Um, so I would encourage you all to, to try and actively participate in the programs that are there and to try to change your lifestyle to be more sustainable. Um, someone is asking if you can write down the link 
that because the queer crowd uh, she cannot tonight. Uh, in, so. uh, sure. Yeah, I can. I I will do that at the end of the session. So when we pass it over to the next slide, I will I will get the URL and I will edit it in for you. So yeah. Thank you. And one one of the question is, uh, can we really apply some SDG in our online scouts activity? That uh, I think you just already answered it with your seventeen days seventeen um, SDGs. Yeah, I think we can we can tie the SDGs to everything we do, um, and yeah, that they can be an, an integral part to scouting and an integral part to our our everyday lives. So yeah, cool. So we'll move on now. We have one more Slido. Um, I will pass you over to uh, Elise for this part. So thank you. Yeah. So um, as you know that we are, like most of the people are inside now. So um, it's important that everybody like uh, has like uh, linked to each other. And we wanted to ask you, um, what does it mean for you? We stand together. So, no, it's still not working. Sorry. Ah, it's here, I think. Up, oh, it's working. You see, we stand together. No? Uh, let's see. Okay. okay. We'll retry. Yeah, I think it will work now. Yeah. Yeah. So, what does it mean for you? We stand together. Uh. I'm waiting. I'm waiting for you guys. Maybe they no. Ah, we support everyone and try to stay positive, keeping positive as a society. That's for sure. Everyone helps it help each other, sense of community. We reach to each other for help or in a safety environment. Together we can fight anything. Together we are stronger. No matter where we are, we can work together to get past this situation. This we can see now because I'm sure we are quite from all over the world. Talk to each other, which is very, very, very important. This is a global crisis, so we cannot tackle it alone, that's for sure. So we, are, we all have the same common goals. We work together towards similar goals. Everyone does the, their little bit, this for sure. This effort has no border. That's not really nice. We support each other and keep everyone's spirit up. Respect the rules, which is very, very important in order to be safe. As uh, like I was commenting, we like we respect the rules that who is saying the World uh, Health Organization and make other be safe, support each other, stay, st uh, stay together, finding a way out to be sustainable for the planet together and helping to the other, other people that we can support the same cause, yeah. We'll get through this only by working together. Yeah, yeah it was also yes, yeah, some question that we can uh, answer, but I think there is an um, other session about it. So how to encourage people to help each other so they would not be scared on the social distancing. By finding ways to build each other up in one force we all help in even if we cannot meet physically we can still app and that connected so you can following a scout from ice and low together that for sure i let you read we share our thought support and encourage connect to the other by online same thing positive people so i will just scroll down you can see and after i will Let's kill him coming back so he can also share. Maybe some people also speak about that. So it's your turn, Cal. We can't hear you. Yeah. 
We can't hear can you. Can you. Cool. can you hear me now? Okay, so here is the, the URL that someone had asked for in the questions. So if you would like to take a picture or, or copy that, please feel free to do so. Five, four, three, two, one. Cool. Okay. Thank you very much. Um, so yeah, no, thank you, Elise, for doing that. It's great to see all your responses to um, how you think that we stand together and what it means to you during these times. So over the past few days, I've been contacting friends, um, young people, change makers um, uh, from all over the world to help me in creating a video for this specific session called We Stand Together. So what I will do now is I will, I will go to that. Um, okay, here we go. So I will, I will mute myself now and this is a, a two minute and 37 second video and I, I hope you enjoy. Scouts and young people are challenged to help out in their communities while also keeping up their scouting, schoolwork, work, and staying safe. We stand together. We don't, we don't see the video, Callum. We see only. Oh, you can't the, see it? Yeah, we are just hear the video. So maybe oh, okay. just. Um, can you see it now? It takes time, it's like that. No, okay. Use the presentation mode. Yeah. Sorry? Use the presentation mode. Oh. Okay. Sorry. Okay. How do I get back into this? So can you see my screen at all, no? Not yet. Not yet, okay. Yeah, maybe, maybe. Can you see it now? It's coming. No. Yeah, no, yeah, yeah, we can, yeah. Okay, can you see it now? Perfect. We can't hear, Callum. We can't hear, Callum. Maybe leave your mic open. These difficult times, scouts and young people are challenged to help out in their communities while also keeping up their scouting, schoolwork, work, and staying safe. We stand together. Thousands are sick. We have lost many people. We stand together. Health services are overcrowded. People are isolated from the loved one. We stand together. No one has the answer. We are scouting. We stand together. Scouting is a worldwide movement counting more than 54 million people, young and not so young from Inter-America to Asia-Pacific, and from Ireland to Argentina, and everywhere in between we stand together. This is a time where our scout values that we have equipped from our leaders through our time in scouting are put to the test. We stand together. Not only are we a movement, we are a family. A family of millions. Who story through good times and bad. We stand together. We must come together without coming together to our devices. Voluntary helping and caring for one another. Then, yeah. As scouts, we have unshakable values and a commitment to our community. 
scouts worldwide have taken the initiative to mobilize their groups in a collective worldwide humanitarian effort. We stand together. This is a call for worldwide solidarity. This is a call for action. Shasen will look at Estamos juntos. Y estén juntos. Permanecemos juntos. Y a gente está junto a eso. No lo conformar. Estamos juntos. Estamos juntos. Lo enfrentamos entre todos. We stand together. So, thank you very much. Um, I will leave the, the link here in case that that didn't work completely perfect or you want to you want to have a look at it again um, so I, I leave that there for a minute um, but yeah I, I made that message to I suppose show to people as well as scouts around the world that we do stand together and although this is a, a strange time that we can come together without coming together to help come out of this crisis and to try and best support people the best we can. So thanks for watching. Um, now that is all of the content for today. Uh, I'd like to invite people if they would like to, to join us on screen to ask us questions in person. I would be more than happy to take any and I'm sure Elise is the same. Yeah. So if anyone has questions, please raise your hand or leave a Q&A Q &A and we'll, we'll answer them. Yeah, there are some people uh, saying that if it's possible to share the video, so I'm sure they can. Cool, I'll go back. So I'll just go back to the, the link. So there's the link. Oh yeah, and they can share the video. Please feel free to share the video. Uh, Someone was asking, uh, I'm living in a poor country and having found is very difficult. Can you suggest fundraising activity? What approach can uh, we do to make it possible? Yes, so um, especially when it comes to sustainability, it, uh, it, it, it's, it's an attractive uh, activity to fundraise for because people see that it's having a, a benefit. So what I would suggest is uh, helping out and creating sustainable initiatives that you can have in your community. So whether that be um, helping people, helping old people, helping uh, people who may be vulnerable, or um, even simple things like collecting groceries for people, or uh, simple actions, and hopefully that that will help you fundraise for the, the equipment and stuff you need to run your your scout troops. There is another question. Uh, what suggests a sustainable service activity? Can you suggest uh, for a scout in school, uh, like in the uh, in Philippines, that uh, it's uh, quite uh, conservative? So for for an activity to do in school? Yes, yeah, sustainable service. Um, yes. So uh, what I've actually done in my school is I've I've pushed for our school to become a plastic free school. So that contributes to many of the, the SDGs. Um, so what I did was I, uh, I approached my teachers and I asked them, could I, could I, have, uh, could I have some time to, to look into this idea and uh, how we could implement it in the school. Um, and there just before school was called up before COVID-19, we, um, we installed a water fountain and we started up our zero plastic initiative. So now everyone in school has a reusable water bottle that they use um, and don't throw it. So that's just an example of what I've done. Thank you. And uh, uh, there is another question by Brandon Chan. Due to the situation in my country, we are not allowed to go out 
Is there anything I can do to help uh, other people from my home? Definitely. There's so many things that you can do from home to help people, um, especially elderly people. So um, one thing that I would suggest is to write letters, write letters with happy stories, stories of your time in scouting, um, wishing them well, uh, funny anecdotes and short stories. Um, write it down in a letter and uh, put it in a post box um, and address it to the nursing home or wherever uh, the, the people that are vulnerable in your community may be. Um, and what I would also suggest if you are going to do that, that you could, uh, you could uh, connect with many other people around your community, maybe in your scout group or in your youth club, so that uh, you can come together in a collective action and there will be many letters for many people um, and that you can make someone smile because at the end of the day, there's, there's not a lot we can do now, but we can make people smile. So that's just one action that, that I've tried to do in my community. And I think that it, it can work well, even while staying at home. And it's a bit uh, link that uh, like Georgia Policer is asking that uh, what, uh, which activity do you recommend to set a younger scout uh, to keep them occupied at home? Definitely. So um, what we've tried to do in Scouting Ireland anyway is um, create different activities for the different age sections and each activity can be simplified or progressed. So if you take a look at our betterworld.ie website, which I shared the QR code and link for earlier, um, the, we have uh, activities for every SDG and we have multiple activities for scouting at home. Um, and from here you can, you can have a look um, there's different activities. So for example, there's, you can draw posters or you can, um, you can create, uh, you can, you could do an evaluation on uh, how you, how you use energy at your home. So it, it, there, there's very simple tasks and there's, uh, there's very advanced tasks for the, both the young and the old. So um, yeah, I, I'd recommend looking at our betterworld.ie website because we've got some really cool resources on there. I take a look through that. And uh, there is another question from Zale Sebastian Latonio. Hi, I'm from the Philippines. My question is how to take out the anxiety out of my best friend. Sorry? Uh, how to take out the anxiety. Anxiety, you know, like the fear, uh, fairness, like the- um... Oh, yes. Um, so what I would recommend is just, just talking to them and reassuring them that, that things will be okay. Um, obviously it is an uncertain time and it's, it's very scary for many of us. Like I myself has been quite scared during these times. It's, it's uncertain and it's, it's strange and it's something we're not used to, but the only way we can go forward is if we do change. So we need to use this, although it is quite negative, um, for, uh, uh, to turn it into a positive. So for example, although we may be sitting at home and we may be scared, use the time sitting at home and scared to do activities or try and help other people in your community. Um, in regards to helping your friend, I have tried to help a lot of my friends and my friends have tried to help me. Um, and all I can suggest is to distract them. So to, to have funny stories, the same as I was mentioning about the letters, to have funny stories, to, to set up a schedule that, um, that you guys talk and that you can communicate with each other and that you both feel free to express both things that look i am worried um and that i i am quite anxious around this but have things that will take your mind off it for both of you because at the end of the day it's not fair for other people to be re relying on each other you need to rely on each other during these times so make sure that you both have have things that you can do that will take your mind off it whether it be activities with your friends or family or doing simple things like playing the guitar or exercising. And there's many different things. And that's the, the beauty of this jamboree on the internet is that there's such a wide range. And if you guys haven't checked it out, I'd recommend checking out the, the Health and Wellbeing Oasis because they've got some really cool energizers and exercises and yoga classes and meditation for everyone of all ages to check out. So I'd, I'd recommend looking there as well for different activities you can do. 
Kalam, can we wrap up? Yeah. Cool. So, um, yeah, that's the, that's the end of our session. So um, I'd like to thank everyone for listening in and uh, giving in your, your such valuable, uh, your, your contributions. It was great to see that, that you guys are all, you're all active in your communities and that you're helping out and as well that you are, you're excited to, to learn new things and where you can access information. So lastly, I'd like to give a, a big thank you to Elise and Nelson for helping me out the last few days. Um, they're great. Uh, and yeah, just stay safe, stay healthy, look after one another and stay scouting.